welcome to the mathematics in my channel today we are going to solve another interesting integrals uh, two integrals integral from 0 to pi over 2 x times natural log of cosine of x dx and integral from 0 to pi over 2 x times natural log of sine of x dx well how to begin okay first i am going to evaluate uh, this integral and i am going to take this integral is equal to i so we can write i is equal to integral from 0 to pi over 2 x times natural log of now instead of cosine of cosine of x i am going to use e to the i x plus e to the minus i x over 2 d x okay then uh, we can simplify 0 to pi over 2 x times natural log of now uh, here e to the minus i x we know this is equal to 1 over e to the i x so if we simplify it uh, we can write here e to the 2 i x plus 1 over 2 times here 1 over e to the ix so 2 times e to the ix dx well then uh, according to property of natural log again we can simplify here x times now we know natural log of e to the 2 ix plus 1 then um, minus natural log of 2 again minus natural log of uh, e to the i x dx okay then um, again we can simplify 0 to pi over 2 x times now uh, here natural log of e to the 2 i x plus 1 uh, minus here also natural log of 2 now here natural log of e so we know natural log of e get cancelled and we will have i x d x okay then um, we should take real value real part so we know this is imaginary part so we can write now uh, this is equal to integral from 0 to pi over 2 x times now instead of this part uh, we can write this is uh, as a series infinite sum so we can write n is equal 1 to infinity uh, minus 1 to the n plus 1 times e to the 2 i x raised to the n over n and here also we have minus natural log of 2 dx okay then um, next step we can write this is equal to integral form 0 to pi over 2 x times now here minus natural log of 2 uh, plus infinite sum n is equal 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n plus 1 power times e to the now here we can simplify 2 i x n over uh, n d x okay then um, next step we can write i is equal to uh, integral from 0 to pi over 2 x times minus natural log of 2 plus infinite sum 1 to infinity uh, minus 1 to the n plus 1 power and here we have e to the 2 i x n so we know this is equal to cosine of 2 n x plus i times sine of 2 n x so now uh, also uh, we should take a real part so we can write now this is equal to the real value of uh, this part cosine of 2 n x cosine of 
to nx over n dx okay now we can simplify uh, here mm, minus natural log of 2 we can take outside of the integral sign integral from 0 to pi over 2 now here we will have only x so x dx uh, plus now we can switch with the integral sign and sigma notation so we can write sum of 1 to infinity uh, minus 1 to the n plus 1 power over n integral from 0 to pi over 2 uh, x times x times cosine of 2nx dx okay then mm, now here minus natural log of 2 we know x integral of x uh, x square over 2 from 0 to pi over 2 and here uh, plus sum of 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n plus 1 power over n and here we have an integral so product of two functions so we can uh, use IBP method integration by parts so now I am going to take x as a first function so here x now d by dx now uh, integral integration of uh, this part we know uh, sine of 2nx over 2n dx okay then um, next step here we know uh, if we plug in pi over 2 pi square over 8 so here we have now minus pi square over 8 uh, natural log of 2 plus uh, sum of n is equal 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n plus 1 power over n and here now a product of uh, these two function so we know here we have x times sine of 2nx over 2n from 0 to pi over 2 minus here uh, now uh, integral from 0 to pi over 2 now rewrite this function so 1 over 2n we can write outside of the integral sign and here we have sine of 2nx times derivative of first function so 1 so here only dx okay then mm, here minus 5 square over 8 natural log of 2 now uh, if we plug in uh, pi over 2 we know this part and also if we plug in 0 we know this part uh, get 0 so this is equal to 0 so now we have uh, minus 1 over 2 n so here we can write minus 1 over 2 infinite sum n is equal 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n plus 1 power here n here also n so here n square mm, and integration of sine of 2 n x we know integration of sine of 2 n is x uh, minus cosine of 2 n x over 2 n from 0 to pi over 2 okay then uh, next step here minus 5 square over 8 natural log of 2 and here uh, now we can uh, plug in uh, 0 to pi over 2 and here minus here minus so plus 1 half sum of 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n plus 1 power over n square and here we have uh, 2 get cancelled and here cosine of n phi over 2n if we plug in 0 we know here 1 over 2 n okay then mm, next step uh, we can simplify so minus 5 square over 8 natural log of 2 uh, then here 2 here 2 so 1 over 4 
so 1 over 4 sum of 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n plus 1 power over now n square n so n raised to the 3 power and here cosine of n pi then here minus 1 over 2 1 over 2 so 1 over 4 sum of 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n plus 1 power over n square n so n raised to the 3 power okay then um, we know um, uh, i is equal to minus pi square over 8 sorry natural log of 2 uh, then here uh, if we plug in values 1 to infinity here cosine of n phi so we know also uh, each terms uh, take minus sign so we can take minus sign as a factor so minus 1 over 4 and we know this is equal to uh, theta of 3 and here minus 1 over 4 and we know this is also equal to uh, 3 over 4 theta of 3 okay now uh, we can simplify minus 5 square over 8 natural log of 2 and if we simplify this uh, here 16 so minus uh, here 16 minus 3 minus 4 so minus 7 so minus 7 over 16 theta of 3 okay this is the answer for integral from 0 to pi over 2 natural log of cosine of x dx okay then uh, here we have also another question uh, integral from 0 to pi over 2 x times natural log of sine of x okay now uh, i'm going to write our first question integral from 0 to pi over 2 x times natural log of cosine of x dx now i'm going to use king's property uh, i think you know about uh, king's property king's rule uh, so we can apply king's property so 0 to pi over 2 now instead of x we can plug in pi over 2 minus x times natural log of cosine of pi over 2 minus x dx now uh, we can simplify here pi over 2 times natural log of we know this is equal to sine of x so we can write um, pi over 2 outside of the integral sign so pi over 2 0 to pi over 2 natural log of uh, sine of x natural log of sine of x dx minus integral from 0 to pi over 2 x times natural log of uh, x times natural log of si yeah, again sine of x dx okay now um, uh, we should evaluate integral from 0 to pi over 2 uh, x times natural log of sine of x so uh, i'm going to write this part in um, left hand side so we can write 0 to pi over 2 x times natural log of sine of x dx is equal to here pi over 2 times uh, 0 to pi over 2 natural log of sine of x dx very famous integral so we uh, solve this integral in a previous video if you like to watch this video i will add the link in the description and also make a card so we know the answer is minus pi over 2 natural log of 2 and uh, then minus times this integral so minus now we know the answer for this integral uh, here minus pi square over 8 natural log of 2 uh, minus 7 over 16 theta of 3 okay then uh, we can write 
0 to pi over 2 x times natural log of sine of x dx is equal to here minus 5 square over 4 natural log of 2 here plus 5 square over 8 natural log of 2 so if we simplify we know minus 5 square over 8 natural log of 2 here minus minus plus 7 over 16 theta of 3 okay this is the answer for second integral if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching